Hey, what's up guys? Pastor Gaming here bringing you top tier StarCraft action. Today, we got a, something a little bit different here, as you can probably tell by this uh, little thing over here and the big wall of text. So, uh, without further ado, let's just get right into it. Spawning up here in the top position, representing the AI. It's going to be AI number one. That was the worst intro ever, but this, but the AI is the worst player ever. And down here, we have a new AI in development by Raving Turtle. I, no, Finite Turtle. It's it, Dorful. So say hi to Dorful here. Let's see what he said here. Didn't say anything uh, that we can get once again. But uh, basically, uh, this was posted on R Casted by a guy named Finite Turtle. It's like a regular turtle, except it's finite. Now, uh, basically, what he said is he's creating this new AI that he wants to be able to play the game uh, pretty much like a normal player, you know, get a better AI... Be Sorry, words are not good for me. A better AI for better playing and better practice. So he did say a few things here. One, it's still heavily in development, so don't expect too much. He just wants to update everyone on the progress with this kind of video. And secondly, it's still like it is a wor work in progress. He gave me complete permission to make extreme fun of it. Now, did I put this on the wrong? Yes, I did. This is on normal. Let's get it to faster. So basically, looks like it's going to be pretty standard here. A scout around is uh, one of the things you kind of notice first here. It's not really typical of a me medium AI. So this is actually pretty cool here. <laughs> he does get a little bit stuck there. That's a bit of the pathfinding bugs that still need to be worked out. But that scout is pretty much the first step in this. You know the AI does not scout for a while. It has preset scout patterns, uh, clicks on the stuff. It doesn't really do too much until the game pretty much gets underway fully. So that's a pretty interesting there. And be behind this, it is going for a normal scout timing here, looking for proxies all over the map. So that's pretty cool so far. And other than that, you know, we're going to have to see what happens here. It's going to go up here and see, once again, nothing. So it does know the, uh, t the places where maps, where proxies are made. So that's actually pretty cool. Got the cyber core coming down for his opponent, the dumb AI, and the cyber core on the other side of the map is going down for Dorful. Now, uh, another thing I forgot to mention here, this cannot be used on ladder. So guys, do not worry about having to play bots in the future. He specifically said that in his post, you cannot use it on the ladder. It's merely for custom game practices, so don't worry guys. You will not be seeing Dorful anytime soon if you are a hardcore ranked ladder player. Now he is going to scout around here again just looking for those proxies. He doesn't know that the AI can't proxy. That's uh, one of the problems, but he doesn't know it's an AI. For all he knows, he's playing Jadong right now, so he knows the pressure is on to find that proxy hatch, to find that proxy. Well, that, I mean, that's pretty much all you can proxy as a Zerg player, but you get you get the drift. Now we do have a stalker followed up by a zealot coming out from our dumb AI. No mothership cord just yet because he doesn't know what it is. And Dorful, wow. Uh, he did not say that this AI was very violent, but I guess that's to be expected. I give up, I give up. Oh, okay, so that's actually pretty funny. You know, every time he goes up to ramp, he's going to say that. So that's, that's going to be pretty funny. I declare war upon you again. Okay, so I think that may be a little bit bugged there, just on based on timing on uh, when it goes down. But uh, yeah, you know this game is completely underway now. We got the Nexus going down in a much faster time than our opponent here, who's not even considering it at the moment. And a couple pylons here for reinforcements. So honestly, at the moment you can already see this AI in action here. That's really cool how it's able to know the builds that uh, normal players do and finally we do see a scout from the medium AI it's gonna see that one pylon and get out of there because he knows the one thing he doesn't want is to lose that probe 
you never lose a probe as an AI, or you are disgraced in the server, in the server time thing. Sorry, I'm a little bit stuttery today, hey, but uh, I really wanted to get this replay before anyone else could, just because of the implications that if this gets done, it's just going to be pretty much awesome. Now, the one thing is Dorfel doesn't have a lot of units here because he's been focusing on builds. You know, the AI doesn't have a build. It just makes units willy-nilly, makes a forge willy-nilly. It just makes all that stuff uh, without really thinking about it because, once again, it's a medium AI. Now, over here, we do see a probe still scouting around, it looks like. And I kind of want to see what the APM is like. Uh, yeah, still 28 APM here, so nothing too crazy out of this AI just yet. As you know, the Elite AI can get up to 600 APM at times. But once again, we do see the Stalker coming in, looking for a little bit of a poke here. Where is it uh, going? I can't see where it's going here, but it is going to retreat the minute it sees that it's outnumbered here. That may not seem like a lot, but that is a big deal when facing versus an AI. Now, the one thing about the regular AI is that it attacks when it thinks it's stronger than you. And uh, at the moment, it is. Until the uh, mortal comes out from that robo facility that's been built, that isn't coming out yet. Has Warp Gate finished? Yes, it has. So I'm kind of going to go all over the place with this uh, cast here just because this AI is new. Uh, takes a lot to basically just see what's going on here. Now, good Micrata the Stalker is here. Going to get a Zealot, but lose one Stalker. So this is the real first engagement here. Great splitting up, uh, trying to get the Zealots to go different directions. And, oh, it's actually kiting them. The medium AI doesn't know that he can attack different units at the same time. But uh, it's not looking too good for Dorfel right now. He's losing a lot of units. Stargate going down on the other side of the map. Robo Facility. So uh, this medium AI will look to finish it right here, right now. He's got a bunch of units at home in case of this attack not working. But it, it's uh, it's looking like it's going to work here. The Immortal only halfway done. It's being chrono boosted into. But at the moment, Dorfel, not the best player just because it hasn't uh, used its warp gate research. That's one of the things Finite Turtle does need to work on here. Uh, and uh, I will let him know right here, Finite Turtle, if you can work on the warp gate, that'll work. But uh, Photon Overcharge is going to clear up this attack here, and it looks like we're going to go into a standard Stalker Blink play. One Immortal is out, so future aggression from this small force not going to do too much And this probe. This probe is just hilarious. It's looking for a proxy, and it knows if it comes home empty-handed, he's going to be sent home to ire and be disassembled. So he's looking for that proxy anywhere, just looking for something to make his self relevant. Wellevent is a new word, but I'm not going to use it this time. But we do see a good force here, Dorfel, being a little bit bad there with the pathing AI. So, once again, one thing to be working on there. Oh my gosh, it's a party, it's a salsa. That immortal is Big Daddy Immortal, and the stalkers are its little children just partying around. Well, I can't say little children here, that'd be kind of disgusting. But uh, the stalkers are going to go out onto the map now. A big attack looking to be coming out of Dorfel here. Dorfel wants to be the aggressor now. Doesn't see that the AI medium has seen him. He does not know that just yet, but now he does. He could start focusing that down now, but it doesn't look like it. They're instead just going to dance across the map. He thinks he's got it one, so he's just dancing all over the place. The BM is real out of this AI. So if you do see this thing on ladder, uh, it will be pretty BM it looks like here. I'm just kidding, it can't go on ladder anyway. But uh, we do see it not really deciding what it wants to do here. The padding AI a bit buggy at the moment. And he did say this was a huge work in progress, so I'm not going to I'm not going to insult him about it just yet. But we do see the second Nexus coming down for our AI medium, so he's trying to get back into this game, but he's pretty far behind at this point. A few good force fields could help him out in splitting up this army, but it's not really going to be enough at this point. There's just way too much here. Two Immortals just absolutely wreck. Now, this replay is 21 minutes, so we still got a bit of a ways to go here, but the third base is already down. The Colossus are out. Uh, no extended thermal lance, but he doesn't really need it at the moment. But a big attack coming in here. The AI medium, not knowing what to focus down here, is going to go for the immortals. And actually, bad micro 
by Dorful is actually going to lose those Immortals. That was the big force of this push. A great concave out of Dorful, but it's not really attacking at the same time here. So it looks like the medium AI is going to take this fight rather convincingly. Now, I want to see, did he make a proxy pylon anywhere to reinforce this army? No, it, he did not. So that's one of the things you can work on here, but, I mean, the micro is good, but it's just not doing what it needs to do. Mainly, attack. Attacking is one of those big things, is how you win a fight. If you don't attack, you're not going to win a fight. He's losing a lot of stalkers here for pretty much no, no gain here. He's lost a lot of units so far, and he's just going to keep losing them. So uh, that's one of the problems here with the uh, attack AI. The micro is pretty good in terms of running away, but it's not good enough to really take a, a direct engagement, it's looking like. Now this gives the AI medium a large advantage here. It's 23 to 26 right now, but that could be all the difference in a mirror matchup, especially in PvP. Now we do see that third base up and running here, so the income tab is relatively favored towards Dorful here. And by relatively, I mean a lot. Now, uh, Dorful, oops, that's not the button, but uh, Dorful here knows he's in a bit of trouble, so he's saying, I give up, don't hurt me. He doesn't want to lose this game, but he knows that if he keeps making mistakes like that, he's going to lose in a big fashion. This Colossus has to go the long way around, and on the other side of the map, uh, what was that? Okay, it's uh, in the base, it, I thought it was a proxy pylon going down, but uh, will it be in time to get this small force back here. The photon cannon goes down immediately and there's just one stalker here and as you know one stalker does not fight this many stalkers. He does, he does force field himself out by accident though, the medium AI does. And from here it looks like there will be enough out of Dorful to win this fight. And thank you guys, thank you guys. Uh, that's what this one stalker is saying before he gets taken out. He's saying thank you Colossus before he dies. But unfortunately, it's not enough here. On the other side of the map, we do have double upgrades on the way. Plus one has been done for quite a bit, but still no warp gate. He did research it a long time ago, but he has not used it in forever. And behind this, we still see that proxy pylon looking probe. That proxy pylon looking probe may come to its last proxy here. But, unfortunately, he's going to go back to Ire in pieces, it looks like. Yeah, Medium, wanting to finish this. He knows, like the rest of us know, you'd never let a probe out of your sight out on the map. Now, we do see a big attack coming out of Dorful here. Will this be the one to clinch it? I don't know. Maybe the dance party in the middle is, is meant to intimidate his opponent. I don't think it's going to work here, just because the AI can't be intimidated that well. But we do see Colossus out for our opponent here, the blue AI. I, I forget colors sometimes. F colors are not fun to, fun to work with. But uh, here we go. We do see a big attack here. And once again, Dorful not deciding to attack with this. Instead deciding to split like he was going against Banelings. The Colossus doing a lot of damage here. And they're gonna, and one's going to get taken out. And actually, Dorful is going to win this fight. Will it be enough to finish this game? It's yet to be seen, just because there's uh, maybe enough warp gates here, and the fact that he has to reinforce from the other side of the map, that may be huge. And once again, the dance outside his opponent's main, he wants to kill his opponent with the power of dance. So that's, uh, once again, one of the problems here. He wants to dance. He doesn't want to be violent. He's one of those Protoss from a far-off land who just wants to dance. It's the fo Footloose planet, I'm guessing. Now we do see Dark Shrine and High Templar Archives here. Not enough to really do anything with that. All the warp gates I think are on cooldown and there's only... Uh, I can't count so I have to do this. Four, four warp gates. So this is not looking good for our medium AI. Now as you know the medium AI will not GG out until it is immediately beaten. If it still has a chance... Hey what's up? Shiggy do, uh, sorry, shouldn't be doing that in the middle of a YouTube video, but yeah, this is pretty much enough here. The Colossus getting taken out, their foot loose just makes them the kings of the world at this point, and they're going to start taking out this base slowly. They do a lot of uh, damage to things in a large area, but this one zealot, actually being the hero here, is going to kill a Colossus for its trouble. He's going back to Ire in, uh, well, actually in a body bag, but you get the you get the picture here. And here we go, the last push. 
the Footloose dancing, the BM dance, Void Ray trying to do what it can, but this is pretty much or over here. The AI-1 has lost this battle. AI-2, aka our hero, Dorful, is going to take this game. We got about a minute before this thing ends, so let's see how much damage he can do before the AI finally taps out. He does have a base over here, but guess what? One base does not equal three. Now, uh, Dorful did forget to make a proxy pile on here. This one probe trying to do something, but uh, it's not going to get to do that. But yeah, this entire base is pretty much forfeit here. Uh, he is dancing though, so he's trying to be BM, but be BM after you win the game, buddy. So he is going to he is going to stop dancing and actually do some attack moves here. He's heading against the zealots pretty pretty well here, but he's not attacking them. You can't kill him if you don't attack them. Now let's go back to normal view. As uh, the reinforcements, yeah, just streaming across the map. Another Nexus does go down, but uh, that's easily seen, and I can be killed off pretty quickly here. Now, uh, the thing about Dorful here, if you guys are just tuning in, Dorful is one of those... Uh, is uh, made by this guy down here, Turtles, a.k.a. Finite Turtles. And, uh, yeah, that's going to be the replay done. The Dark Shrine never got used, the High Templar Archives never got used, and Dorful comes out victorious in one of his first field tests. Dorful, thank you for tuning... Uh, Dorful, thank you for... Thank you for an awesome game, and we'll see you next time.